My name is Dan Gustafson. I'm a professor. I'm also the director of basic research for the Flint Animal Cancer Center, as well as a co-director of the Drug Development and Discovery Shared Resource for the University of Colorado Cancer Center. Everybody has a personal connection to cancer, and you know the big C is an important word. It's an important disease, um, and you know, luckily in my career, I've been able to work on something that has translation across all types of critters that I like, dogs, humans. We all think about drugs as a primary way to treat disease, and historically that's been the case with cancer. We've made giant strides in my career making drug use better, not only by changing drugs and developing new drugs that are safer and more targeted to the cancer themselves, but learning how to use drugs to optimize their effects on, on preventing and controlling cancer while not causing so many horrible effects uh, in patients. That when we really look, we realize that, that cancer, which is this kind of, of selective driven process of cell replication that we still don't completely understand, it has multiple etiologies and, and exists in everything we've ever looked at from dinosaurs to humans. It all has this origins and beginnings and basic biology and basic science. When we think about chemotherapy, actually antibiotics are a chemotherapy, but they're a chemotherapy that kills bacteria. And if you have a bacterial infection, we use these drugs to get rid of those bacteria that shouldn't normally be there and get things back to the status quo. In, in cancer, it's the same way, where you're trying to take the basic difference between those cells that originated from you but became now malignant and trying to you know, not staying where they're supposed to and, and dividing. You're trying to figure out what's different in that process that you can take advantage of with some type of drug that can actually go in, identify that cell, and eradicate it and get things back to normal. And that's really the, the basis of, of pharmacology. We're really looking at, at ways to use uh, genomics, so uh, gene expression and gene mutation data with human and canine cells at the same time to figure out what drugs optimally we could use to treat that disease. It's kind of a catchphrase to say, you know, um, precision medicine, but that's really what we've done the whole time we've done cancer therapy is you try to get the right drug in the right individual 